Hey guys, this is Hang Rango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have my friend Maya Cotton here, and she let me use her canvas to do another 90 inspired makeup look for you. This time I'm using all warm tones, not like the last one I did, all just like taupey cool tone. And I also want to thank my friend Jacob Rosenberg here. He do beautiful 90 hair for me. I hope you enjoy the look. Give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. For every makeup, I always start with prepping skin. A little lip balm first. You want to keep the lips really hydrate the whole time mm -hmm. when doing makeup. Then some eye cream. Even the look today I'm doing is matte, really matte makeup. I still want to prep the skin really, really well. I think it's important. Otherwise, the skin looks very chalky and flaky. When the skin very well prepped, doesn't matter what the look is. Little serum. You can press them into the skin. And I'm doing a little bit moisturizer as well. Always give skin a lot of love. And hydration is so important. And especially right here, guys, you're gonna feel some knots for sure on mm -hmm. the face. I think always just massage it out you can actually feel the knot on the face and you can always massage it like this you can really get into there if you cannot do it yourself you can have your boyfriend your loved one <laughs> husband lovers definitely they, make him do this yeah <laughs> For me, it's like skincare is so important. Mm -hmm. So I'm always talk about that in my channel because I really want people pay attention to that more. A lot of time, I, especially young makeup artists, when they work on my shows, mm -hmm. they always jump on the face right away and they never spend too much time on skincare. And I'm always telling them, you have to. I'm using the sponge for the foundation. Usually, if I put too much moisturizer or serum, I can only use the sponge to take it out and blot like this. You can even blot with the tissue as well, but you can do it like this before you use the foundation. The foundation I'm going to use today is called Honey. And the concealer, I'm going to use two different shades. Number three is matching almost exactly the same shade of the foundation. I'm going to use mainly around the nose around the mouth here, anything that I want to even out. And number one, I use under the eye, the bridge of the nose, a little bit here, and the forehead, and maybe a little right here. The whole point I'm trying to do is really sculpt this. I want to show the difference between the shading on the face. For foundation, I'm put mainly on the T-zone and using the sponge you can plan it out when you use the sponge I always use it dry I know most of the sponge they encourage mm. you to do wet sponge but this sponge it works better for me dry and if you want to get more coverage you apply like this mm -hmm. if you want less coverage you do that
and try to blend everything out if you wear low color you can go a little lower and what i usually find most people use sunscreen so their face a lot of lighter and then their body is darker but then underneath this part here it's always even lighter than compared to the face and the chest so try to not forget the part here this is going to make the face look a lot more seamless together for the concealer number one i put mainly under the eye this look is pretty full on and very sculpted you your judgment of how much foundation concealer you like to use Maya doesn't need that but I'm just trying to demonstrate the look so I have to do the whole process you can modify how much and how little you want it and a little there For the number three concealer, I put a little bit around the mouth. You can create the same look without this much foundation concealer. It's up to you. I'm just showing this so people have the option of want to see how it's going to look like with someone who wear full on makeup. Using the same foundation sponge I used earlier. I'm just blend everything out. Using a small little brush like this, you can pinpoint which shade number three. I think the best way to cover any blemishes is use the concealer, the same shade of the foundation, not lighter. Most people use the concealer that cover under the eye we tend to use a lighter shade there it's better use the same shade you make everything look seamless together if you use a lighter concealer you're gonna see pronouncedly where the pimple or anything that you need to cover as you can see right now the number three concealer and honey foundation they are exactly the same match and that's what I do. I just blend it out. And I know a lot of you ask for a separate video how to cover acne, but for me, it not inspire me so much. So I like to do video that inspire me as well. Those video, what I'm showing right now is the best I could show you. And if you want very detailed, there's a lot of video on the internet. People only make them, you can look at those. But for me, that basically how I would cover acne and then if you can powder on top just to set where it is but the key is just about the shade that you use so make sure it blends seamlessly to the foundation so you won't see the different where the pimple and where the skin is for contour and highlight i'm used just one palette from kevin Khan. they have cream contour powder contour cream highlight powder highlight some highlighter and some shadow here you can use this whole face to do the look i'm doing as well but i'm using just mainly this shade right here usually i like my contour very blended together it's all personal preference if you like the contour more defined you don't have to blend as much as i do i just put around the hairline, the nose, the jawline and then you can ask the talent to keep a little whistle and you can put a little bit right under the cheekbone and you could use a buffing brush like this and blend everything out This cream contour, they're really easy to blend. You can even use your finger as well. And I like to blend it all the way to the hairline. Hairdresser may not, <laughs> may not like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the worst is when you see demarcation around the hairline and the contour.
I know it's a lot of makeup on you today. Do you normally wear this much at all? No, but I, I mean, I do love makeup. I think it's fun. I don't usually get a chance to to wear this much. I know you look so beautiful without makeup, and I'm sure a lot of people say don't put anything on. But I think you know sometimes it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, I think makeup is accessory. Mm -hmm. The day that you feel like you've put on a little accessory, that's what makeup is yeah. about. Usually for work, we don't. Yeah. Don't wear so much. Yeah. For powder, I'm using powder from Laura Mercier. I'm using two different shades. The lighter one for under the eye. And the high point that earlier when I used the lighter concealer and the darker shades, I'm using everywhere else. Again, this is just how I prefer to do it. You can powder any way you want. You can use the same powder for the whole face. It's just my preference. I do see the difference when I use two different shades of powder. For under the eyes, I'm using the lighter shades. I'm doing a tiny bit of the baking. You don't have to do it. I like to put a little bit on my hand first. So I take some of the excess off. And then I just do a little bit under the eye. I know it scares a lot of people, but I think this gives the most brightening under the eye. Amazing. You can so put a little bit here just for brightening. I also gonna put a little bit here. You don't need to put too much. I know you don't have to go crazy, but just an idea so you can see it. For eyebrow, I'm gonna use a brow whiz and a brow pen from Anastasia. The brow whiz, I'm doing mostly just for the arch here. And Maya have incredible brow, but I'm just gonna make them a little more arch. And then the brow pen, I should create a few extra hair right here just to define them. And what I do is I brush it down. Try not to follow the line here because it will make the eye look droopy. I always cheat them a little bit. And then you brush it up. A little bit more on the arch here. The shade I'm using right now is soft brown. As you know, a lot of time I try to use a lighter shade of eyebrow, especially if you have a lot of hair like this. It naturally will look very dense. If you look at the hair color, it's like dark brown, and you're trying to use a dark brown eye pencil, it will look really dark. It will look almost black. So you lighter eyebrow pencil is gonna give you the look without looking too harsh. I'm using the pen. Just keep a few hair right here. And maybe just on the top here because the 90 a little more arch. And I don't want to treat this beautiful eyebrow from Maya, so I leave it the way it is. But I just want to lift it up a little bit still. I usually like eyebrow more defined like this. If your aesthetic is more stencil brown, you can use brow pomade and all those products. But naturally, I prefer this, so I, that's the way I do the brow. You don't have to do exactly this way at all. I'm gonna gel the eyebrow in place with a clear brow gel also from Anastasia. To prime the eye, I'm using this new product from Mario. I'm very excited for Mario new line. It comes with a brush. One side you use this to prime the products, and the other side you use to powder to set. Close the eye. I think it's one of the product line that people should go and check it out. Mario is 
is an incredible makeup artist for many years of experience. You can learn a lot from him for sure. Also, he know what works and you should try out his new product line. The two shades you can wear alone. You don't have to wear on the makeup at all, just to even the eyelid out. For this look, I'm gonna pram under the other eye a little bit too. And then the other side, you use to set with the powder. Close your eye. Mario also came out with two eye pencil, one black, one brown. I'm gonna use both. The brown pencil, I'm gonna use just to match in to get the shape and the black pencil mostly on the outer part just keep a little flicked the pencil have pencil one side and they also have a smudging brush but i'm going to use the smudging brush that he has come out as well i think it's a little bigger brush and it's easier for me to blend to start i draw a line across the eye with the brow pencil this is a long wear pencil trying to do one eye at a time. I'm just mapping the shape that I want to do. So I'm gonna do one eye first. When you blend in for the outer part, you can blend a little higher up. Next, I'm gonna use the black pencil to the upper waterline. This pencil also long wear, guy. This is one of the blackest black pencil I ever seen, and the texture is really beautiful. It's so nice and creamy, but it's long wear. Just keep that in mind. It's gonna set really fast, but when it's set, it doesn't move at all. Mario came out three different palettes. This one is metal. This one is metallic texture. And the last one is matte texture. I'm using the whole face matte finish. So this palette I'm gonna use. I'm staying more the warm shades around here. I think this is the two shade I'm gonna use for the eye makeup today. He also came out with another two eyeshadow brush. So I'm gonna use it as well. To start, I'm using this light shade here on the lower lash line. On the corner, do it upward. This matte eyeshadow is very easy to blend. It is a perfect balance of pigment and blendability. I think it's amazing. The next shade I'm gonna use is this one right here. Just tracing that way I mapped earlier with the brow pencil. And again, the way I'm doing, you can see that as I go out the part of the eye, I pull it up a little more and upward and upward. Go back to the lighter shades with a fluffy blending brush. I use the lighter shades and I do mostly on the crease area here. With the fluffy blending brush, I use this color right here and mainly on the crease area here and blend it out. Depend on the eye shape. If the eye was further apart, you can go way further in. But if not, 
don't try to go far in because that closes the eye even more. You can use the same brush, you just fluff it up some of the excess from earlier using the lighter shades here. Close your eye and blend it out a little more. Using this color, I'm doing mainly on the brow bone. Close your eye. And then the inner part of the eye. And then use your blended brush again just to blend the edge it out. So it doesn't have a harsh line where the light and the dark. So everything should blend well together. And the same, Just using your blending brush and blend everything out. Finishing the eyeshadow shape, I'm using the black pencil and I'm gonna use this smudging part to blend out the edges. I'm using mainly the outer part of the eyes. And use this smudging brush on the other end, blend it out. You can also use liquid liner as well, but I like the idea of the blending black on the corner. I love this pencil that have a little smudging, like dragging the liner out. And I think it's a great idea. So that's why I love to use this one just for smudge it out. Use the black liquid liner if that's what you prefer. But I love everything blended together. Always curl your lashes, guy. And I'm using two coated mascara on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. Better than sex mascara. Oh my god, the name, I love it. The eye is complete, so you can take all the baking powder off. I'm going to use the same color of the cream contour earlier, but this in powder, just to sculpt the face a little bit more. So just all of the low point here. I'm also going to do a little shading around the nose as well. Just very subtle. Next, I'm using bronzer from Too Faced. Just warm everything up together. This way you can blend everything together. I'm using a blush from Benefit. And this color is pretty sheer. It looks very bright, but it's not heavy at all. And it just warm it up a little bit. Only just a little bit on the tip of the nose. For highlight, I'm using this shade from the palette I used earlier for the contour. And they have the cream as well, but I'm using the powder highlight. Just a little bit around the high point, little tip of the nose. For lip liner, I'm going to use this lip liner and the liquid lipstick from Huda Beauty. For the lip liner, I decided to choose the color a little bit darker, and it's a lot darker than 
the lipstick, I think that's the whole point. The 90, uh, you know, girl love to wear darker lip liner and lighter lipstick color, but I'm gonna blend the edges out. And Maya have incredible lip shape, so I'm just follow a natural lip line. You can see right now, I filled in the first half of the lip with the lip liner. And as you can see, I filled in mainly from the outer part of the lips. This is a liquid matte. It's more a nudie peach color. I do mainly in the center and blend it out. I think this color is perfect. It's nudie, but it have a hint of peach in there, so it doesn't look too flat. To complete the look, I'm going to set the face with All Nighter from Urban Decay. That's the look. This is my 90 supermodel inspiration with warm tone. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know some of you would like put some highlighter in the corner, but I love when it's bare like that. I think it's keep the eye nice and elongated without cut the eye short. So if that you prefer, you can put some highlighter there, but I love how it is. I hope you enjoy it. Give us a lot of love. Give it a thumb up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.